Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good, good evening, Miss. How are you? I found good evening. Good evening. Excellent. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to the class. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Stick to. There we go. Okay, so welcome to the class. I hope you had a great weekend that you could enjoy maybe with your family or whatever you did during the weekend, okay? So I'm happy that you're here with us today and we're gonna continue with the classes, right? You know, we're in unit number two already. So I will check the platform if everyone is working on the platform. That is very important as you know. And we're gonna continue with the conversation um, we had because we didn't finish that conversation. So we're gonna finish that conversation and then we're gonna continue, okay? Let me see. What are we? It does not. Okay, so this one, okay, perfect. And the last thing you did was a SWOT analysis as well, right? So we're gonna check on that. And we did the uh, activities from section one in the last class, we did that. So hopefully everyone has completed section one because we did that already, okay? And I'm gonna check, I don't know who are the people who have completed all the homeworks. And let me see, how many are we here? Oh my God, we have so few students. Wait a minute. I'm gonna send a message to the group so everyone knows that we are here and we're ready. We're waiting for you. We're ready and waiting for you. Okay. So there's the message because we have a few students right now. Okay, anyways, I have a message here. Good evening, excuse me, I'll be listening. Ramiro, okay, I understand. I read your message. Yes, I read your message. I hope you get what I you get better soon, okay? And let me see. Would you like to check the grades? Your grades, okay? Wanna see? Sí, mis disculpe, estoy, estoy. Now, incapacitado y le mandé la incapacidad. Right, se escucha más fuerte la voz de Ramiro, it's even deeper right now. Okay, excellent. Hey, and how are you holding up with this heat? It's really hot, right? Oh my God, this day is really hot. I don't like it. Okay, let me see. Ana Veronica is working on the platform. Angela Guadalupe has to work. Javier has to work. Blanca Isabel, it's working. Dennis, um, Eric, Eric Josue, okay. Jocelyn has to work on the platform. Mayra has to work on the platform. Let me see the other ones. Um, tu, 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 tu. And Walter Vladimir. The other ones have worked on the platform. So good job guys, because you know, we have to be completing the platform every uh, every week because we sent a report to InsaForp and they are asking for the grades. And sometimes even the companies, so for from human resources, they are gonna ask if you are working or not on the platform, okay? So let's try to be working on the platform every every day if you can, or every week. Hi. Hi. Hi, Miss. Um, eh, fíjense que no he completado la 1.5 porque me podí, no sé, no, no, nunca me sale bien. Le okay. pongo algo, lo pongo. Okay, sí. let's see, let's see, let's o see. O sea, lo demás sí, pero la 1.5 sí me falta. <laughs> o oh, es que no se conectó a esa clase donde expliqué ese tema. Sí, cierto, okay. Miss. 
Okay, this will be the number one. This will be the number two. Yes, 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 yes. This will be the number three. I right, thank you, Miss. This will be the number four. This will be the number five, right? Okay, there we go. You have it there. Okay, I don't know why we have so few students today. That is really, I don't know. I don't know how to okay, say it. Okay. Like we, I don't know, attendance is kind of different these days. Assistance está fallando mucho ultimamente and some students are connecting late to the class. Thank well, you, Mitch. Hopefully, you're welcome, Sandra. So hopefully we're going to be, I don't know. Well, let's see if we can do something about it, okay? Okay, the topic we have for today is bear agreement with complex subjects. And we're going to be looking into that, okay? And just give me a minute, page 18, it says here. This is 17 and this is age 18. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, let's go with the attendance because I know it's time already. I was waiting for some students to come to the class. I don't know, maybe they are busy. Okay, Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Angela Guadalupe Hernandez Sanchez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Present. Denis Enrique Saldaña Claros. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Eric José Reyes Molina. Present. Gerson Alexis Funes Sosa. Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Present me. Okay. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present me. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present me. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Yes, miss. Jocelyn, long time no see you. I was really sick. Oh, really? You with the flu? No, eh, stomach, stomach, it's stomach, ache? okay, okay, yes. I'm sorry, but I'm glad that you're here with us, okay, excellent, okay, uh, Julio Cesar Aguillón Arevalo, Julio Cesar Aguillón Arevalo, María Julia Ramos Olivar, present, Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez, Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. José Figueroa Cisneros. José is not here. That's weird. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present, Miss. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Saituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Omar Seth Galicia López. And ja Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present, Miss. Okay, perfect. So I hope you had a great weekend. I hope everything was okay for you during the weekend. I know that we have had temperatures, like high temperatures, right? It's really hot in El Salvador and it's supposed to be hotter, even hotter these days. So be careful, drink a lot of water, don't expose yourself to the sun, wear sunscreen, right? That it's very important to wear sunscreen. Do you know what is sunscreen? Nope. Sunscreen yes, is yes. 
what is it? What is sunscreen? Yeah, correct. Uh, yeah. So wear sunscreen, and because that's gonna help you, right? We don't see it right now, but the sun can be very dangerous for our skin, right? So be careful yes, with that. Listen. I listen in the desert storm, the polvo del desierto. Yeah, correct. Uh, the thermic uh, sensation. Exactly. Is, is and also, high. and also because of the desert dust, we don't have water, so we don't have rain. It's okay. gonna be a hard week, so please be careful. Don't expose yourself to the sun and try to follow all the instructions that Protection Civil is giving to the people because you know exactly like Dennis, drink a lot of water. Water is good, water is your friend right now because if not, if we don't drink water, we would be dehydrated, okay? And it's very important that we keep hydrated ourselves because yeah, it, it's a hard time, even though so, for example, I'm a physical education teacher. <laughs> I'm an English teacher, but in the school where I work, I have to teach physical education. And I'm not allowed to go to the field to play with the kids. I'm not allowed. I have to be inside of the classroom because the sun is really strong right now. So, yeah, you have to be careful. Try to be safe. And I don't know. Try to follow all the instructions, right? Because we are living a hard week. It's going to be really hot this week. It's supposed to be around 45 to 55 degrees, right? That's what it is supposed to be these days. And it's that's that that's too high, way too high. Actually, you can go to the street. You put a pan on the street and you can fry an egg <laughs> because it's going to be really hot. Así que ahorren gas, cocinen en la calle. <laughs> because it's going to be really hot these days. You can even fry something. Pueden freír cosas in the street because it's going to be really, really high. But keep hydrated, ¿verdad? So that's the most important thing. Take care of yourselves. Okay, anyways. So in the last class, we had the opportunity um, of to, like, to practice a conversation but we didn't finish because we didn't have the enough time, right? So right now, I'm gonna share with you uh, my screen and we're gonna try to practice that conversation one more time, okay? <clears throat> Just because we didn't have enough time in the last class, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna read it twice and then we're gonna go and practice because you already know this conversation, okay? Good morning, I'm thrilled to announce we have green lights to work on our latest text testing task. What of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The efforts this, this task requires are important to take into account, definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic test, so we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job. But have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy materials and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing cost, and I'm good at that. Okay, I'm gonna read it one more time. Good morning, I'm thrilled, remember that, thrilled, thrilled, pronunciation of the H. Good morning, I'm thrilled to announce we have green light to work on our latest product testing task. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The efforts this task requires are important to take into account. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic test, so we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job. But have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. 
one of the most important factors in this job is managing cost, and I'm good at that. Okay. So we're gonna go and practice this conversation. You have it. We practiced this conversation in the last class. And let me see. Okay, let's go. Silvia? Omar, welcome to the class. Your classmates are practicing this conversation right now. So I'm going to send you to a breakout room, OK? There you go.
Mayra, hello. Teacher. Hi, welcome to the class. Thank you. So your classmates are working on this conversation that we practice on Fridays, but we didn't have enough time. So I'm going to send you to a break room, okay? Okay. Thank Perfect. you, teacher. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Omar. So, Omar, if you can, turn off your camera because I think your camera is giving you some problems, okay? And I'm going okay. to send you to a room. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? What we... uh, we're going to practice a conversation. Okay, teacher. Thank you. There you go. Silvia, what happened? Hello, Silvia. What estaba, happened? Estaba en el salón tres. Okay. It's okay. Go ahead.
mí me salí de la reunión, se me fue un poco el internet, terminó sesión. Hecho que en qué sala estaba, Eh, con Johnny, con Alfredo, okay, gracias. Mayra, what happened? Internet issue. Oh, okay. Only remember Jocelyn. Yeah, I think it's breaker room number three. Yeah. Um, okay, thank you, Miss. You're welcome.
Hello, everyone. Welcome back again. So you had enough time to practice the conversation. I'm really sorry. I have allergies today, but bad, bad, bad allergies. Okay, um, and I'm gonna ask some students to practice this conversation here, okay? I'm gonna start with... Rafael Martinez and Monica Avalos, okay? Rafael Martinez, you're gonna be me... Oh no, we have three, Vélez, Ayala, and Avila, okay? Okay, Oscar René, uh, it's gonna be Rafael, it's going to be Monica and it's going to be Oscar. Okay. So this one, let me, let me, let me, wait a minute. This, this, and this, Rafael. This, Monica. Oh, easy. And this one, and this one. Oscar René, okay? Okay, Go ahead. Miss. Good morning. I truly to announce we have green light to work on our last product testing task. Mm, one, one of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you made to do the you the Good job. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The effort, effort this, this task required are important to, make, to take into account. Definitely, I have already waited some ideas for a monadic test. So we can discuss then take a look. Good job, but you have figured uh, out the out the cause. Some difficult decision to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing cost. And I'm good at that. Okay. Okay. So give me a second. I just have to do something. Okay. Uh, so um, let me show you. Thank you. So thrilled. The first one. We're going to go one by one. This is thrilled. Thrilled. Latest. Latest. Effort. Emerton. Job, efforts, definitely, written, okay, written. Written, okay, excellent, good job, thank you, but thank you very much, excellent, thank you very much. Okay, so we're gonna continue with the next, and we're gonna go with, Blanca, Ana Verónica, hello, and Johnny, okay, so Blanca, you're going to be this, the checks, Ana Verónica, you're going to be the arrow, and Johnny, the hearts, okay? Okay. I am star. Good morning. I am thrilled to announce we have green light to work on our latest product testing task. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you. Mr. Ayala, the efforts these tax who requires are important to take into account. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic 
task so we can discuss, then take a look. Good job. But have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decision to make refer to financing material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factor in this job is this managing cost. And I am I am good at that. Excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let's just check some pronunciations, okay? Thrilled. Again, thrilled. 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 Latest. Latest. Requires. Requires. Definitely. No, definitely. 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 Yeah. Okay. Figure out. Figure out. Okay. And fancy. 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 Okay. Good job. Excellent. Thank you very much to the ones that participated. Okay. You guys remember pronunciation is very important. There are no rules for pronunciation. So what you have to understand is to practice. So listen to the audio. And I saw Jocelyn ask me for the audio. So listen to the audio, practice with the audio, and then compare how you do it and how the audio is like how they mention how I mention it in the audio. Okay. Because sometimes there are difficult words. That's why I'm always asking you. Yes. Hey, do you have questions with pronunciation, Maria Julia? I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Tengo una duda. Um, yo escucho oh, Oreo, pero eh, en español, porque la he buscado y la he querido escribir, pero no la, no la termino de comprender. La Oreo. Sí. Audio. Audio Ajá. is audio. Yeah. Audio Ajá. is audio. Oh. Yeah, audio. Okay, thank you. Yeah. This is the second time people ask me for this word. And the first okay. time it's like audio, 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 but it's not audio in English, it's audio. You're gonna see. If you don't believe me. <laughs> audio? Audio. 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 Uh, audio. D. Audio. Audio. Pero cuando lo dice rápido suena como que fuera Oreo. <laughs> Ajá, como que fuera Oreo. galleta. Oreo. 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 Como que fueran a decir adiós. <laughs> Oreo. Oreo. Yeah. yeah, and I say that word many times, and I say, I'm going to send you the audio, and nobody asks me, hey, miss, what is audio? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you were thinking I was going to send you a cookie? Pensaba que les iba a mandar una cookie? No, it's the audio. <laughs> y, y es que les pregunté a mis hijas, y no, mamá, este, grabalo, y entonces te voy a ayudar. But you can ask me, Maria Julia. <laughs> it's audio. No es oh. Oreo, 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 no, Oreo, no, 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 okay. <laughs> Don't get confused, okay, excellent, thank you, but thank you for asking, that's good. Okay, let's continue with this, and here we have three questions, three specific questions, okay. These three questions are about the, the conversation we just practiced, okay. So we're going to answer these questions based on the conversation we just practiced, okay? So if you could take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group, I will appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay? And we're going to go and answer these questions. They and The answers are in the conversations, okay? So you don't have to be like, I don't know, it's not anywhere else. No está en ningún otro lado. It's in the conversation, okay? So nothing different. Okay, let's go and answer the questions.
Miss, creo que ya no voy a seguir conectado, es que mi esposa está enferma y estoy tratando de ayudarla. Oh, oh ok, Johnny, um, ni siquiera de oyente, para que solo le cuente los minutos. Eh, voy a quedarme como oyente, aunque no responda, es que está un poquito enfermita. Ok, ok, está bien. Thank you por la gracias. Que se mejore pronto. Sí, gracias. Ok, bye.
Hello, everyone. Once you finish, you can send the screenshot of your answers to the WhatsApp group, okay? Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay, let's go. So, let me wait a minute. Let's answer the questions. Let's see. <laughs> hey, you guys, no he podido dejar de pensar en lo que me dijeron de audio. <laughs> que se escucha como audio. <laughs> Y ya pregunté aquí en la casa y me dicen que sí se escucha como Oreo. <ríe> Oreo. Yo so creo que lo voy a decir más. Oreo. Oreo. Aunque es Oreo. Oreo. Pero le voy a decir Oreo. So, it's, I don't know. You understand it better. Ok. Anyway. Que o sea, que Oreo. siempre que yo les decía, I'm going to send you the Oreo, ustedes decían, bueno, no, para enviar sí, una galleta Oreo. Una galleta, Oreo. Oh, my God. Oreo. ¿Hay alguien que sí entendía que yo decía Oreo? No le pregunté. Oh, sí. yes. Yo le pregunté. Oh, no estamos esperando la Oreo. Ok, o sea, you said you understood. Yes. Yeah, o sea, who else? Mm. Dennis, ok, ok. I'm feeling better. Well, at least two people understood that I was saying audio, not audio, right? Well. Yes, yo, yo igual pensé que era galleta. Pero no, yo no. le pregunté hace un par de clases y me dijo. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So I, that's what I told <laughs> Maria Julia. This is the second time someone asked me. Es la segunda vez, so maybe. Si ya te dice, dice, no han escuchado ustedes el que, el, no sé si he dicho o refrán o qué cosa. Que si te dicen burro en una esquina, no les hagas caso. Si te dicen burro en la siguiente esquina, piénsalo un momento. Si te dicen burro en la tercera esquina, Regresate para tu casa y revisa si tiene orejas de burro. So, something like that. So, la primera vez ya me dijeron Oreo y yo como, mm. ya me lo dijeron la segunda vez, así que mm, I have to analyze that. Ya no quiero que me digan la tercera vez, no quiero ir a revisarme las orejas. <laughs> ok, so let's continue. Ok, so we have the answers for these um, questions. I'm going to ask the first question to a participant. Let's see. The participant that I choose is Angela. Angela, what product testing strategy is mentioned in the conversation? Okay, good night. Good evening. Uy, se metieron en la casa. I'm sorry. It's okay. 
<laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I was, I was eating, <laughs> but I would. I think the answer for the first question would be. What product testing strategy is men mentioned in the conversation? Mm -hmm. um. Someone can help me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I was I was eating this. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> you see monadic test. Exactly, Jose Alfredo. It is the monadic test. If you can see, they mention it there. Excellent. Good job. Oh, thank you. okay. Angela, thank you, Jose Alfredo. Let's see the next participant. The next participant, I'm going to choose. Eric Josue Reyes. What specific concern does Mr. Vélez have about the product? Eric Josue? Eric, no? Jennifer Esmeralda. What specific concern does Mr. Vélez have about the product? Mr. Yeah. Ahorita me solo termino de masticar. <laughs> My God, everyone is eating. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um... Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Excellent. Good job, Jennifer. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Me one question. Javier, tell me. In English, uh, uh, how do you say buen provecho? Okay. Actually, actually, there is not a way of saying buen provecho in English. You can say, uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. But that's not English. So you can say, uh, enjoy your food, but that's like disfrute su comida, but that will be like you're a waitress or a waiter. Va a ser como que fuera mesero o mesera. So that uh -huh. doesn't make sense, right? So the good way of saying it is a borrowing, un préstamo, borrowing, is a borrowing from French, del francés, bon appetit. Yes, bon appetit is French. Yeah, in English, how, you say buen provecho. Bon appetit, no, bon appetit. They, they, that's what I'm, I'm telling you. Usan un préstamo del francés, que es a borrowing, que es bon appetit. Oh, borrowing. It's a borrowing. Sí, en inglés tiene muchos borrowings. Oh, Por ejemplo, okay. ¿cómo dicen tortilla en inglés? Tortugas. Tortilla. <laughs> Omelette. No, tortilla es tortilla. No, y sabe que en realidad hay productos, eh, enviábamos tortillas en una de las empresas que trabajé y lo poníamos así, omelette. Pero omelette no es tortilla de huevo. Ajá, omelette. Eh, tortilla de las de tacos. Corn. Así le ponemos. Tortillina. Pero they call it tortillas, they call it tortillas, pero they say tortillas. Tor ¿Puedo tener una tortilla, por favor? <laughs> they say tortilla, yeah. Also, burrito. How do you say burrito in English? Donkey. <laughs> no, pero like el burrito de comer comida, comida mexicana. Burrito. The Ellos, they say burrito. <laughs> they say burrito. But that's why I'm telling you. They sometimes don't have words for things and they use borrowings. A veces no tienen palabras para algunas cosas y utilizan borrowings. De hecho, la palabra gracias, thank you, es un borrowing y una modificación. Es un préstamo y al mismo tiempo una modificación del danke en inglés. Danke. Danke. Es de ahí viene el thank you del inglés. Ok. So tomaron un borrowing y hicieron una modificación con el borrowing que tomaron. Es danke. Yeah. Danke. 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 Danke es en inglés. German. Danke. Gracias. Ah, exactly. Danke. 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 Eh, Okay, yes, my 
Yes. So yeah. So in English, we have a lot of borrowings. Y aparte de borrowings, son como modificaciones que se le han hecho al idioma. A lot of borrowings. Por eso es que hay muchas palabras in English and in Spanish that they look the same. For example, area. In English, se escribe exactly the same, pero se pronuncia area. Right? Like doctor, doctor. Secretaria, secretary. You see? Because venimos de las mismas lenguas románticas, right? That's what it's called. So venimos del origen del latín, ¿verdad? Pero también tenemos mucho del griego, like a lot of things. So yeah, no nos vamos a meter en eso. I'm not going to explain that eh, deeply, but yeah, de, de ahí viene. Okay, excellent. El next question is, what is Mr. Ávila in, in charge of? So let's see, I'm going to ask that to Rafael Martinez. What is Mr. Avila in charge of? Rafael. Yeah, miss, I don't find the answer. Ah, oh my God. Oh my God, that is a problem. Okay, so let's go with Jocelyn. Jocelyn, what is Mr. Avila in charge of? Mr. Avila is in charge of managing the costs. Excellent. Thank you very much. So, yes, here, look at here. Mr. Avila is in charge of managing costs. Okay. So, now, please, everyone, if you're doing something else, si están haciendo algo más, pay attention. Okay. Porque ahora vamos a un tema very, very, very important grammar topic. Vamos a un tema gramatical bastante importante. Okay. So we're going to go to this grammar topic that is very important. It is called subject agreement, okay? Subject and verb agreement. So when we have subject and verb agreement, that means or subject in the simple present has to agree with the verb, okay? For example, if I say, my father sleep in the afternoon, is that a subject and verb agreement? My father sleep in the afternoon. Is that correct? No. Why? Have to letter S to the verb. Okay. Sleep. So, thank you, Mayra. Subject and verb agreement means that if I have a subject that is third person, my verb has to be in the third person, right? So yes. We're going to be learning. But we're going to learn about complex subjects. Because my father is really easy to, to understand. But when we have subjects that are complex, how do we identify the correct form of the verb? Okay. But before I continue with that, Sandra has a question. Go ahead, Sandra. Yes, I have a question. Miss, excuse me, I know see your screen. No, I'm not sharing the screen right now. No, no, it's como parpadea su, su pantalla o soy yo o es su... Okay, someone else can tell me. My screen is blinking. Está haciendo blinking my screen or not? No. 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 Okay. In my case, no. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's it's my internet. Internet. So maybe it's my your internet. internet. Yep. Yes, correct. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm about to. Yo creo que yo voy a tener. Estoy ahí viendo lo del internet de este señor Elon Musk. Hopefully. Si se me dan los ahorros, porque ya saben. It's very good. It's very good. It's the future. Yeah, I'm about to get it. Porque aquí lo que más me llega son 20 megas y tener 200 megas. Y me dicen, en las tormentas llega 100 megas. Y yo, pues, ¿quién le importa que llegue a 100 megas? Who cares? <laughs> right now I have 20 megabytes. I want 100 or 200. That's good. <laughs> ya después ustedes me van a ver así como en tiempo real. Y así me dicen algo y lo, ah, su internet es, le voy a decir. <laughs> Okay, let's go. So, remember, subject and verb agreement. It's easy to understand when I say, I live in El Salvador, or she lives in El Salvador. But what about with this sentence? Listen. My grandmother, who has a group of friends, lives in the city. So is that subject and verb agreement? Uh -huh. 
Ah, now you're thinking about it, right? I don't understand. Could you repeat again? Please? My grandmother, who has a group of friends, lives in the city. Oh, you see that? It's wrong because it's they. Yes. No, it's correct, Mayra. Okay. Because it's my grandmother, listen, who has a group of friends, mi, mi abuela que tiene un grupo de amigas, lives in the city, vive en la ciudad. Mi abuela, la que tiene un grupo de amigas, vive en la ciudad. So ah, this, okay. In this case, because we have a complex subject, tenemos un subject que es complejo, porque tiene más mm -hmm. cosas añadidas, y el yes. verbo va a estallar al final, right? So in those cases, son los que vamos a aprender, okay? So let me explain okay. a little bit. Okay? Pay attention because this is very, very important grammar topic. Let's see. Subjects that are preceded by expressions of quantity are called complex subjects. They take either a singular or a plural verb form depending of the number, singular or plural, of the quantifier. So look at this example right here. We have the first of the decisions has been made to go ahead with the plan. Now, you will think, pero si tenemos decisiones porque el verbo es has. Porque yo le estoy poniendo atención a este, mire. La primera de las decisiones, okay? So I'm not talking about the decisions. I'm talking about the first of the decisions, right? That's what I have to be, pay attention to, okay? That's what I really have to pay attention to. This one, so in this case, this one, part is the important part for me. So in this case, this is the correct word. Even though, no se dejen engañar, don't get mistaken with decisions. Eso es solo para complementar lo que estoy diciendo. Right? La primera de las decisiones, porque si yo dijera la primera tiene que eh, manage has been made to go ahead with the plan. Eh, la primera decisión ha sido tomada para seguir con el plan. La primera ha sido tomada, la primera que? So, la primera de las decisiones, right? So, the first of the decisions. Now, you have to pay attention to these. It is very important for you to understand. Now, let's go with the next one. Here, the first refers to one of the decisions. Oh. So, the verb must be in the singular form, has. Because the first is una de las decisiones, no estamos hablando de las decisiones, estamos specifically speaking about one of the decisions, okay? <clears throat> Let's go with the next one. One of the good things I like about working with you all is, look, ¿de dónde sale ese verbo? Una de las buenas cosas que me gusta de trabajar con ustedes es el esfuerzo que hacen para hacer un buen trabajo, okay? So what is this? Miren, aquí está good things, I like, esta primera persona, va working with you all. ¿Qué es esto? Is is. Why is is? Because it's una de las cosas. Okay? One of the good things. That's what I'm talking about. So the complex verbs a veces son difíciles de entender. Sometimes they are difficult to understand. But you have to pay attention to it, okay? The explanation says, here, one is a single of various good things. So the verb must also be singular, is. Okay, now let's go with some plurals. Some difficult decisions to make in relation to the fancy material are, so you will say some, algunas, so difficult, difficult, no. So this one is we're talking. Some decisions. Algunas decisiones, right? So, in that case, are is the correct verb of the verb, the form of the verb. Here, some refers to more than one difficult decision. It's a plural, so the verb must be in plural, are. A majority in a number take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. So a majority of product developers prefer to use blind test. 
So prefer is the verb. Y no lleva S. Porque aunque dice la mayoría, a majority. Es una mayoría. Son varias personas. Right? A majority se habla de varias personas. A majority of product developers prefer to use blind test. So this topic I know can be complicated to understand. But what we have to pay attention to, a lo que le tengo que poner atención, what I have to pay attention to is the context, okay? De donde viene ese verbo, right? De donde viene, who am I talking about? De quien estoy hablando? So I'm gonna, les voy a presentar, I'm gonna present, and I'm gonna show you como se puede hacer de una buena manera que no sea tan complicado. Como lo de gloss, ya van a ver, you're gonna see. So let's pay attention to this part right here, okay? This one. Okay. So in this case, it's easy to identify the subject, dogs, easy, right? But if I say purple dogs, is singular or plural? Plural. It's plural. It's still plural. Purple dogs in the in three branches. Singular or plural? Plural. Plural. A group of purple dogs in three branches. Is a singular or a plural? Plural. Plural. Eh, no, it's not plural. ¿Por qué cambió? Why? Porque ya no es plural. A group. It's a group. A group. Un grupo. Yeah, you see? That's what you have to pay attention to. Ya cambió. We're not talking about singular dogs. Now we are talking about a group oh. of dogs. Okay? So pay attention to it. Pero dice dog. De, de, con sí, pero yo ya no voy a prestar atención a esto. Porque ya cambió. Es un grupo. Okay. Por ejemplo, si yo les digo, vamos a hacer esto así fácil. Blanca, Jocelyn y yo somos el grupo número tres. ¿Ok? Somos, porque yo mencioné a Blanca, a Jocelyn y a mí, ¿verdad? Pero si yo digo, mi grupo es el número tres, ¿es un singular o plural? Es, mi grupo singular. es. Singular. Singular, ¿ven cómo cambia? y changes, aunque estoy hablando de varias personas, right? So, como cuando yo digo mi familia es, right? Mi familia es un singular o un plural? Singular. Es un singular, singular aunque estoy hablando de mucha gente, ¿verdad? Yes, ahí vamos entendiendo. Are we understanding? Vamos ahí un poco. Yes, me. Yes, yes. Excelente. Lo estoy explicando así con manzanitas y peras. So in this case, a group is making this a singular, right? Now, in these three cases, it was a plural because I was paying attention to dogs, dogs, and dogs. But in this case, I'm paying attention to the group. So now, in this, I have a group as well, okay? So now, if you can see, les voy añadiendo a cada una cosa más y más contexto. Aquí dice, un grupo de perros morados en tres ramas. Un grupo de perros, un grupo de perros morados bailando en tres ramas. Miren cuánto añadí ya. Ustedes todavía no entienden, o sea, ¿dónde? Todo esto sigue siendo parte del sujeto. Hasta aquí todavía sigue siendo parte del sujeto. Pero entonces el verbo, the verb, va en tercera persona. Pero si yo les pregunto ahora, ¿por qué ese verbo va en tercera persona si estamos hablando de un montón de perros? Ustedes ya serían capaces de contestarme, ¿por qué estamos hablando de una tercera persona? Porque estamos hablando de un grupo. ¿Ven? Easy, right? Se lo estoy intentando explicar así con manzanitas, peras, uvas, la fruta que a usted le guste, imagínense, que con eso estoy explicando, right? So, pay attention. Porque por eso lo estoy haciendo, so you can pay attention to it. Now, let's continue. Now we have a second part, right? We have a cat, okay? Now we have a cat. Let's see. A cat, is a singular or a plural? Singular. 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 The ball cat, singular. el gato pelón. 
it's singular or plural? Singular. Okay. The ball cat who is watching movies, singular or plural? Singular. singular. The ball cat who is watching movies in his pajamas, singular or plural? Plural. No, it's, it continues plural. Singular. Singular. singular, singular. 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 Nothing here says plural. The working ball cat who is watching movies in his pajamas, singular or plural? What is the meaning of barking? Eh, ladrador. Singular. Okay. Singular. singular. And in this case, it continues to be singular. Okay. So in this case, you look, puede ser muy confuso, right? Because all this is part of the same subject. And pay attention here. The verb is in singular form. Okay. In, aquí puede ser movies. Eso me puede confundir con un plural. Right? O barking, o pijamas, me puede confundir con plural. Pero ¿qué tengo que poner atención? This part. Se ven cómo se va desglosando. Lo mismo acá en esta parte. The same thing. Okay? So now, we have to pay attention to the whole context to understand what we are to be talking about. So let's see. Let me go here. And we have some examples. Okay, let's see. Some of the participants in the testing group have or has not arrived yet. Some of the participants. So what do you think is that? Is a singular or a plural? Plural. It's a plural because we're using some. And we're using participants. So what is the correct form of the verb? Will be have or has? Have. Have, correct. Mm -hmm. Have not arrived. So this is a correct sentence. So you go to do number two, three, four, and five, and six. Okay, take a screenshot and we do to do that. We go to do that. Okay, excellent. So we're going to go to the breakout rooms. Thank you very much for sending that. No, 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 no. Oh, don't go there. No vayan ahí. Las tengo que recrear. Okay, let's go. Let's go, ahí tenemos las invites. Miss, acabo de ingresar nuevamente porque oh. tenía problemas de conexión, entonces creo que por eso no me asigno. Ok, ok. There.
Omar, si gusta, apague su cámara para que su señal mejore, ¿ok? And there we go. Ahí vamos.
Yeah. Hi, Miss. Hi, Miss. I have One a question. Aha, uh -huh. what is the question? I didn't uh, say what mop. does me the mop? Ministerio de Obras Públicas. Let me see. What is this? Mop. The new mop. Mop is trapeador. Ah. Es que aquí no salió la traducción fregador. Dije, sí, son los fregadores del tráfico y los fregadores del, de la casa. <laughs> no, it's, it's trapeador. Fregador, o sea, como fregador de pisos. Sí, a esos son los del mop, fregador de piso. <laughs> Qué, qué, qué justo, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Ok, vaya, chequemos, voy a chequear sus respuestas. I'm going to check your answers. Ok. Me sí. Bueno, esa la hicimos together. Number two is. Number three. Hmm. Ok. Number four. Is number five have and number six suggest correct a number of customers are so what is the what is the okay a number of customers un número de empleados de, de perdón de clientes están satisfechos no, un número de empleados está satisfecho, de, de, está satisfecho, es están, ¿verdad? So it's a number of customers will be R, ¿ok? Ok. Correct, good, excellent. So, some of the participants in the testing group have not arrived yet. One of the factors to decide on the best type of are the characteristics of the product itself. A number of customers is the characteristics of the product itself. A number of a number of customer is satisfied with the performance of the new mob. The first of the suggestions I want to implement is design of the label. A majority of tester has point out the need to make our product liner. A number of comments suggest that the fragrance of the candle is the best characteristic. Fijémonos ahí, corrijamos eso. Lo teníamos bueno entonces, la cambiamos mismo.
vaya, sigamos la discusión, pues entonces. Yes, oh my God. Hi, I'm sorry, I was speaking with my microphone off. Confusing, sir. Yes, confusing. this can be confusing. Yes, I know. I know it can be confusing, but right now we're going to talk yeah. about it, okay? Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Cuando se los mostraba desglosado, se veía fácil, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Pero como yeah. ustedes tienen que desglosarlo, then it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of the participants, singular or plural? Plural, plural. plural. So obviously have one okay. of the factors. One. So is or are? Is. 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 A number of customers. Number of customers. Plural. Yeah. Is Many plural. people. Are. The mm -hmm. first of the suggestions. The first. Yeah. Is. Is a majority, esto ya se los había explicado, ahí decía, cuando era un majority es mucha gente. So sería a majority of testers have or has. Have. Have, correct. A number of comments. Comments. It's singular or plural? Singular. What? Plural. Ah, perdón. It's plural. So it will be suggest. Because with singular, it will be suggest. Why? Huh? Nah, nah, nah. Mayra? Uh -huh. What is the question, Mayra? <laughs> it's wrong for me. A number. Un número. Uh -huh. yes, yeah. Número uh, de qué? De comentarios. Comentarios. Ajá. No personas. Número de comentarios. Comentario. Vaya, pongamos, pongamos y pensemos. En español, ¿cuál suena mejor? Un número de comentarios sugiere que la fragancia o un número de comentarios sugieren que la fragancia. En plural. Sería un número de comentarios sugiere, un número de comentarios sugiere. Hmm. Sugieren. Sugieren, ok. Entonces sería suggest. Sugiere. Porque si yo digo sugiere, es singular, ¿verdad? Suggest. Uh -huh. Aunque aquí diga un número, ¿verdad? Lo que me uh -huh. importa a mí es el número de comentarios, right? But it's not people. It's a yeah. subject. Yes, uh, yes. No, thing. it's not people. It's not people. Uh -huh. So esto es el sujeto. Los sujetos pueden ser personas, animales, cosas, conceptos. Anything can be a subject. Pero los comentarios no hacen las people, entonces por eso, ¿verdad? ¿sí? No, no, no. Nada que ver. Nada que ver. Por ejemplo, so si yo les digo, por ejemplo, if I tell you, drinking water is healthy. ¿Cuál es el sujeto de esa oración? Water. No, I <laughs> Drinking water is healthy. Beber agua es saludable. Drinking water is healthy. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Water. No. No. The action. The action. Drinking. It's drinking. It's drinking water. Both. It's a compound noun. Un nombre compuesto. Y drinking, aunque es un verbo con ING, pasa a ser un sujeto de la oración. Porque entonces ya estoy diciendo beber agua. No estoy diciendo beber como una acción, sino que lo estoy diciendo como un nombre, como una actividad. Right? Por ejemplo, si yo digo, sleeping eight hours is good. Sleeping eight hours is good. So in this sentence, look at this. Le digo, el sujeto no es una persona. No, it's not a person. Y en español decimos lo mismo. In Spanish, we say the same. Dormir ocho horas es necesario. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Dormir ocho horas. So, you see, sleeping eight hours is good. Good for you. you okay? So, in this case, look at it. I'm talking sleeping eight hours. All of this is the subject. What is the verb? Is. 
right? So pay attention to it. It can be confusing. English is confusing sometimes, but here is the situation. You have to understand that it is what it is. Ustedes tienen que entender, ah, así es, así lo voy a decir. Ustedes no tienen que entender, ¿y cómo lo explico gramaticalmente? Y gramaticalmente, ¿por qué sería así? Usted dígalo como es. Usted no tiene que explicar como yo, right? You say, sleeping is good, right? Sleeping is good. Si yo digo, sleeping is good, ahí cuál es el sujeto. Sleeping is good, ¿cuál es el sujeto? Sleeping. Sleeping. Entonces sleeping. ustedes vendrían y me dirían, pero ¿y por qué sleeping es el sujeto si eso es un verbo? Porque sleeping es dormir, es bueno, right? Dormir es una actividad, no una acción. ¿Comprendemos la diferencia? Actividad. Actividad es algo que es una acción, pero es un nombre en este caso. Por ejemplo, correr en una maratón es cansado. Running in a marathon is tiring, right? Running in a marathon. In that case, la, el correr en una maratón es una actividad. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Es cansado. Es, right? Is what gives action to the sentence. Now, ustedes no tienen que entenderlo porque así como en lenguaje, ustedes, si yo les pregunto ahorita, ¿cuál es el pretérito plus cuan perfecto? ¿Cuál es? Ah, verdad, verdad. So you don't have to understand it like that. Ustedes no tienen que entenderlo así, right? You have to understand that it is what it is. Lo voy a utilizar así. Ah, lo voy a utilizar con ING, lo puedo utilizar de sujeto. Ah, ok. I'm going to use it as a subject, ok? No se compliquen la vida. Don't complicate yourselves. It is not that difficult. No es tan difícil. It's not, I promise. Ok? Now, let's give. We don't have enough time. Yeah, I think we have enough time. Ok. So let's see these sentences. Okay. Vamos a ir a trabajar una vez más. So we're gonna go and work one more time, but this is the last time. Okay. And we're gonna work only, let me see, because of the time, only eight. So les voy a ayudar con la primera, okay? I'm gonna help you with, no, I'm gonna help you with number two, para que vean. Porque bien que soy buena gente. <laughs> Either my mother or my father is are coming to the meeting. Either my mother or my father is a singular or plural noun. Are. Y aquí es donde le va a doler la cabeza. Plural. Two person. No. <laughs> ya se va. Le digo por qué. Porque entonces aquí lo que me importa es esta frasecita. Miren. Either. ¿Y eso qué significa? Cualquiera. Ah, o sea, ya sea mi mamá o... o mi papá, o ya sea, o cualquiera, mi mamá o mi papá va a, ve va a venir a la reunión. Ahí se para, entonces. Porque no son sujeto, van, entonces... no son los dos. Van no, solo uno va a venir a la reunión. Por eso es either, sí. ese either me hace toda la oración que cambie. ¿Y sí? Ah, Por eso tengo que poner atención a cada una de las palabras. Got it? Hagamos las otras. Take a screenshot, send it to the WhatsApp group. And then we go. Pero iba a ser, iba a ser dos. ¿O no? <laughs> ya sí escuché, no sé. Oh. Confused, confused, sí. my friend. Okay, take a screenshot, take a screenshot. I'm going to send you to the groups. Try it is not that confusing. Again. It is not that confusing, I promise. No es tan confuso. Okay. Si ustedes se mentalizan que es confuso, pues sí, va a costar. Let me tell you that it's going to be difficult. Okay, there we go. Last time, this is the last time. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, everyone.
Okay, excellent. I know, I know. Believe me that I know. It's difficult, maybe. We have to get used to it. With practice, practice makes perfect. So tomorrow we're going to keep on practicing, okay? And hopefully it will be better. Right now I have to go with the attendance because I know everyone wants to go to Mimir. And I understand that. Me too. I want to go Mimir. Check the answer, Miss, in the I'm lesson. Gonna, I'm going to check them. You want me to check them today? Yes, the last the last sample, the last sentence checks. Okay, okay. okay. I I need improve in this part. <laughs> okay. No, uh, Miss Tranquila, si no nos califica. Yes, of course. Here you have the answers. Okay. Look at them. No, no puedo compartir. How is it? ¿Cómo me les fue? Bien, bien. Pensamos, pensamos que estamos bien. Eso quiero saber yo, ¿cómo no fue? Por eso, pero no, yo por eso les muestro esta, para que comparen con las que ustedes tienen. Ah, ah y negrita está la respuesta. Yeah, okay. yeah, ahí están. Ah, veámosla. Yes. Vamos a ver. These are done. La cinco. Excelente. Ok. Tenemos diez. Thank you, Miss. Ok, ok. Ahora ya puede, como dirían en la yes. misma, pueden ir en paz, ¿verdad? Pero tranquilo, respire. Yes, my goodness. Oh, my God. Se me estaban muriendo. Me le hicieron yeah. algo. Teacher. Yeah, oh, tell me. Hola, me escucha. Yeah, I can hear you. Ok, el viernes me cayó la maldición. ¿Y es usted? La que usted lanzó. ¿Cuál? ¿Yo qué hice? Decía que los que no aplauden no, podía, no, no van a poder dormir. El así envidia. que no puedo dormir. Miren, ya saben, siempre que yo les diga un aplauso, ¿verdad? Yo no es que yo haga magia, pero la vida, lo, 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 es la conciencia, es la conciencia. Es el castigo de la es vida. La conciencia, es la conciencia. Yes. Okay. <ríe> Voy a confirmar asistencia nada más. I'm just going to confirm attendance. Ángela Guadalupe, Hernández okay, Sánchez. I'm here, Miss. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. ¿No? Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. I am here, Miss. Joseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. And Omar Seth García López. Present. Excellent. Galicia. Galicia. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, everyone, have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, Miss. Bye. Good have night. a good night. Bye-bye. Good, 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 good night, Miss. Good night, Miss. Tomorrow, Miss. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night, everybody. Good night.